gosh, I don't know. I guess I feel a little bit intimidated uh, coming back into a school. Um, it's quite fun as well, right? And I, I think I think I'm a big kit at heart. Um, so I, I, I quite like being back in school. Well, I mean, I was bullied throughout school, actually. Um, and I feel like bullied maybe doesn't quite cover it. It wasn't just like, you know, you get called fat once or something. You know, obviously that's not very nice, but we're talking about like complete rejection. You know, people wouldn't sit next to me. Uh, people wouldn't sit and have lunch with me. Um, people didn't want to walk home with me. Um, it was, you know, it's, it's like I was completely ostracized because I was seen as the, you know, the queer one, the, the funny one. Um, you know, um, it was basically like a leper. And I think the thing that really hurt me, I had I had a friend once actually, and uh, you know, and I, did, I had a friend, I, you know, I had friends, but this, this one friend in particular was, you know, good friend to me, but didn't want to walk with me bet between classes because he was worried that he would get picked on too. And it was just like, this was the sort of level of kind of crap that I had to put up with. And, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been kicked in the teeth. I've been all sorts. And I didn't really feel safe at home either because I lived with my dad. And uh, my dad was fairly homophobic, I think it's fair to say. And he didn't want a sissy for a son. So I'd often get a clip around the ear hole from him for talking like a pufter or, you know, why do you, why do you talk like a girl? Why do you, uh, that's what people always say to me. Why do you talk like a girl? Why do you want to play with girls things? Why are you, why are you girly? Um, and it was just relentless. I remember actually well into my like early twenties, still having nightmares of being at school and and people shouting names and just being humiliated and just feeling like it's not okay for me to walk down the street, you know, uh, because someone's someone's gonna come and get me. And I still now, today, like, if I see like a group of lads, I get a little bit anxious. I think, are they, are they gonna beat me up? Are they gonna call me a name? Are they gonna humiliate me? Is it okay for me to just walk down the street? So, I guess you could say what doesn't what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and there's an element of truth to that in the sense that I think that I'm quite a strong personality because of my experiences and it, and it has given me that sense of humour um, but when you're growing up that's when you are literally learning how to be a person and so of course those experiences are going to shape you for life and we know that LGBT people are more likely to suffer from mental health issues, to be homeless, to have struggle with addiction. You know, these are facts, and we've got to look at what's going on here and what's making people feel like that. And again, you know, nearly half of trans kids in this country have attempted suicide. Uh, so, why do they feel like that? We need to be having a conversation about what is making these kids feel like that and it's other people and it's the way that other people are treating them and I think it's time that we we looked at that and and had a bit more love and, and caring as a society so that every child feels safe at school kids, kids kids shouldn't be feeling frightened to go to school and a lot of these kids may not even feel safe at home because maybe their families don't accept them um, it's 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 abuse as far as I'm concerned and Every school should be taking this seriously and every school should have an anti-bullying policy that explicitly protects gay and trans kids because they're out there. We know that they're out there and we need to make sure that they're safe and that they feel loved and valued. In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Go to www.antibullyingpro.com forward slash back to school to find out how. Share your back to school picture and share your back to school advice using the hashtag back to school. This campaign is run by the Diana Award Charity.